Hi guys, welcome back to another iPhone development tutorial. This one's going to be about using the image picker. It's very handy for if you say want to make an app that takes pictures and then uploads to a site. This will allow you to pick a picture from your library and upload it or do whatever you want with it. First thing you have to do though, if you're using a simulator for this um, tutorial, <coughs> you have to actually add an image to the simulator, which can be kind of tricky. So first things first, Open the simulator, make sure no application is running because otherwise it will not work. Just drag your picture in and drop. It'll open in Safari. Just hold the click down till these menu comes up and save. See, it was not very difficult. And then there we go, one saved image. Now, just make a standard um, view, window, uh, view based application with a view controller and call it, mine's just called image picker. Now, there's a few things we have to add to our header file. First thing first is a UI image picker, do I like it? And UI navigation controller, do I like it? It's because we want to do something with a picker and the picker requires certain movements to open new model view controllers and dismiss them. That's just to make it easier. Okay, a few outlets. Yes, I'm gonna be using a nib for this one. I know I hate using it, but people find it easier to follow. UI image view, image view, uh, UI image, I can't spell. An IB outlet, UI button, let's call it button. Next need a property, non-atomic, retain, uh, UI image picker controller. And we're gonna call it image picker. And then we're going to have an IB action, IB action to control this. Uh, it's called pick image. That's going to come back to pipe in the ass, that naming, but sure. Hopefully, I remember which one's which. ID center. Okay. Now we're going to do, go to our nib, give ourselves some room to maneuver. and just drag in a single button make it a bit bigger if you want and call it pick and you want a UI image view button let's make it a bit bigger so you can see your image once it's in here doesn't really matter if it's center or not it's just a demo purpose and let's connect our nice little button. Click our button to your button, and then your image view to your image view. And also, don't forget your pick image. Very important. And you want this to be touch up inside. Very important. Okay. Okay, okay, now go back into your, um, okay, let's hop into our M file. We have all our decorations set up in our header file. So first things first, synthesize, image picker, and then just make some room. Don't really need the view to load in this one, but it's always good to have the option. Delete memory warning. Uh, when I do our IB action first. So IB action, pick image. There we go. Nice and easy. Now this is going to be the one that opens up the window. So it's going to open up the um, the image picker and allow us to pick which one we want. There'll be two following methods that are not tricky, just kind of tough to get your head around. But first things first, this will set this up. So it's image picker equals UI image picker image picker controller a lock in it um, image picker dot delegate equals self image picker dot allows editing equals yes you can set to no it doesn't really matter it's best to set it here 
and image picker dot source type equals this is one's quite long UI image picker controller controller source type photo library. So it's going to access the library we created when we dragged our picture into the uh, simulator. Then self present model view controller image picker animate yes. So this will open up our library. Now we have to add a few things that will allow us to actually um, uh, pick and set our selected image as the image in the actual view. So it's a void method. It's actually an inbuilt one. So it's just great for this. Image picker controller. There we go. Image picker controller. Did finish picking image. UI image editing. Yeah. So it's this one. So image picker controller. UI image controller. Picker. Did finish picking image. So you're picking the image and then it makes that the image you're going to be selecting into the, sorry, make the one you pick into the actual object. So image, image view dot image equals image. So this UI image here is going to be passed in from your selector and become the view. And then of course, once we have selected this um, image picker, this miss model view controller, yes. Sorry, animated. So that means once you pick this, it'll dismiss the picker and it'll make the um, image you selected into the view. Then we need one more kind of error handling one. Image picker controller. Oops. Something a little bit Did cancel. So if you press cancel, you want something to happen. So if they don't select an image they want, you have to allow them to exit without picking an image. And it's just image picker. Image picker. Dismiss model view controller. Yes. Now, if you don't know what model view controllers are, model view controllers are basically just sliding a view on top that can be dismissed very easily. It's not pushing to a new view like a new view controller, it's just putting basically temporary cover on top. So they're very handy for things like this. So rather than push to a new view and having to open something and revert to a new view, you're simply just open a temporary window on top and allowing people to select and perform operations using that. Okie doke, I think that's all we need. Let's build and run. Okay, so we're now selecting, move and scale. Let's um, zoom in a little bit and choose and there you go the view has become the cat you picked from your library it's a very best example you can then save this to your answers defaults or anything you want sql light core data it's just a very easy way of allowing people to or even yourself to mess around with images and as you saw the picker control does all the work for you once you have it instantiated you can zoom in scale move the image do whatever you want it's a very handy tool to have and i hope you find it useful the code will be on github so thanks for watching take it easy